Uh, I'll kill a few more, and I'll move on. But my, my health is just taking a beating right here. Almost there. I don't think that. Okay, I'm gonna stop blocking. Oh, I let guy in the field now. Okay. Please, guys, I'm not the end. I am. Well, the concern is down to two now. Okay. You were right. Now my health is incredibly low. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fight that guy. Well, let's try anyways. Well, at least you have 4,000 orbs. Or you can stick around and find out the hard way. Yeah, let's give another shot here. Why is my Dante not rolling? Okay, okay. I've gotten so used to using two thumbsticks to do everything that it just feels weird having to use button and thumbstick combination. Isn't that technically A for this controller since we're on the Xbox? Yes. Yeah. I'm probably try to dodge the bit too. Uh oh. No! Oh, go away! I feel like this chicken is made an alliance with the camera of this game because these guys are doing being cheaters. Oh god. A flame launcher. Uh oh. Apparently he does not like being crunchy. Or crucified. She's the uh the devil side guy. Shot. Just so you can recover more health. Should I try the holy water out? See if it work. Yeah, if you do, you're gonna die anyway if you don't. So I'll give it a shot. See if it hurts itself. Wow! It totally worked. <laughs> Incredible. I should have gave it a shot earlier, but I feel it's a little bit cheap that I had to use that. But oh well. You know what's done is done. You learn by experience. That's yeah, okay. pretty damn cool. The the floor is lighting the way. Is it? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh you're right. You know. Okay, but before I go over there, I'm gonna punch that shield with my Ifrit <laughs> and see if anything happens. Okay, nothing happens to this one. I'm pretty sure you need the lances. Yeah, I think you're right. Should I burn this door down? Nope. Wait, missed. Nope. Just check. Never be too sure. Yeah. Yep, you're right. Okay. Go wherever the flames lead me. Do you get any other elemental po properties in this game? Or is it just fire and electricity? I'm pretty sure it's just fire and electricity in the first game. Oh, let's punch this thing. And as I predicted, it worked. Looks like all the snake might be hiding somewhere in these bushes. Like the place on fire, only you can prevent port fire. Smokey the bear? Hmm, nothing but fog here. Oh, here we go. Of course. Haze, be curious, guy. Not too curious, though. Be careful. Might find some surprises that you wish you had come. Like this. And it's a 
zombie turkey, perhaps? A flame-breathing fire turkey. Well, we know how to deal with these guys. Grenade launcher. Uh, I really wish that they would allow me to change the camera manually, but nope. Gotta take away from the suspense. I know, but like in Metal Gear Solid 3, the HD edition, well, I mean even subsistence, it, yep. it, they allowed you to change the camera because it was just so wonky originally. No, actually they were trying to get you accustomed to the uh, the style change of the game from Metal Gear Solid 2 to Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, there you have it guys, our Metal Gear Solid expert. I'm no expert, but I'm just a firm believer in the Solid Snake Wave. You know that guy with the flame things? I expect him to be a lot tougher, and he just died in one punch. Well, granted, you were bombarding him. This is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I guess you're right. He must have been taking hits off camera. And I don't mean the illegal kind of fake guys. Same school. Yeah, it seems everything is done out here. Was it this way? No, no, no. There you go. So useful to have a friend to tell you you're going the wrong way. Otherwise, I'd be wasting your time, and I hope I'm not doing it. Well, technically, you two kind of waste time anyway, but I won't say much more. YouTube is a learning place. And a place for entertainment. Full of weird guys like us. Oh look, statue's right here. Oh, well, look at that, we can power up the effort as well. Hmm. Oh, that looks pretty neat. First, we're gonna go with some most important thing here. Wait. Air height? Oh wow, air height apparently is only if I'm using the Alistair. Seems I'm gonna have to stop using the effort for a while. Darn, but the double jump is very useful, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. You should have bought some, like, um, the stars too. I think so. Which star should I buy? The green one, so <laughs> you can, you know, not have to rely on yellow or uh, yellow um, stars all the time. Okay. Let's see here, extra a bar. And it looks like the price disappeared. Does that mean they're sold out? Oh, it's like it you can't hold anymore. Okay. So it looks like I can only hold one at a time. Just so I won't be super OP. Now look, what the hell did I break here? Some hidden thing here, apparently. No more? No more. Check out that double jump. No. Nope. The room's too crowded. I'll show it off outside. Let's see. Come on. Okay. Isn't it working? Oh, there you have it. No longer need a wall. Now we can just jump in midair. You know, you don't have to have the Alistair card right now. It's not yeah, like you're constantly worrying about air hiking. But what I do like about the Alistair is the range. I don't have to be right up close to them. If they're a bit far away, they can just use one of the skills, Stinger, in particular, to get up close to them, and then hack away at them. What you just saying the other, just like 20 minutes ago, that you're hoping you're a hand to hand kind of guy? Yeah, but I mean, sometimes simplicity is the way to go. And this guy apparently likes to use his firepower, so I will use my firepower. Ha ha ha! Yes, I know. Bad joke, guys. Give me a break. Pun was intended, or...? A little bit. <laughs> then, uh, we won't forgive you. Oh, I can't say much to the viewers, but as far as I will... Viewers will forgive me. After all, we are bringing them this wonderful gameplay. Which I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Comments. I'd like to hear like anything you guys might want to see that I might have missed. 